Welcome back to More Sip to Tally. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today's subject, as you can see by the thumbnail, is Aaron Donald, the baddest man in the NFL. And he just got a new contract extension, uh, three years, $95 million, which makes him the highest paid non-quarterback ever. Uh, let's go through a few of his stats real quick before we get into the film of him, and let's see why he's the baddest man in the NFL. Uh, playing pretty much every defensive line position, Every te- from every technique, he's 6'1", 280, which is kind of unorthodox, but you'll see from the film that means nothing because of all the skills he has. 98 total sacks, uh, 20.5 sacks in 2018, which was his highest. And he's been either the defensive player or the, of the year or in the top three in the voting for defensive player of the year for almost every year of his career. He's been a... Um, First team all pro every year of his career. And this don't have nothing to do with, with NFL, but he's been a 99 on Madden for, I know, the last five years. So uh, let's get into the footage of why Aaron Donald is the baddest man in the NFL. I appreciate you guys for coming back. And if this is your first time here, uh, please hit the like button. You know, starting starting a new channel, the like button is very, very important. Uh, if you like what you see, if you like the content, uh, subscribe. Um, and then hit the bell so you can be notified when these videos drop. Because they'll be kind of random. No set schedule yet. But I appreciate everybody that's here. And uh, let's get into the film. Aaron Donald spot shot it right there. And again, he can play every technique on the field. He can play 0, 1, 2, Three, four, I, four, five, and he can line up in wide, wide nine or wide seven. However, you know those two numbers are depending on who coaching the defensive line. But right here we have him in a four I. This is in the Super Bowl. Oh, I will preference this: these clips come from the playoff run. Their four playoff games that they played on the way to the Super Bowl. That's why all these clips come from, and it's a good uh, indication of. Why he is who he is. Yeah, against the run. The tackle really, I mean, the guard really stood no chance. He got up on man, really didn't move. Watch him just press him out. Right here, the tackle is in pretty good position. Watch the press. Get off me. And now with one arm, he's controlling him and pushing him back. So there's no, that he's really condensing that gap. So all the P Ryan can do is either try to force it up in there or bounce it right to Aaron. And Aaron just gonna destroy this cat and still make the tackle. This is nuts. Six one two eighty nine. He ain't like he a three forty guy in there with all that six one two eighty. But as you can see from the thumbnail, you saw that bottom left picture ripped up. I wish I was two eighty and had abs like that. See, look at splitting the double team. So now you, you got to put two guys on him. You realize that. And he still whoops him. Look, get the shoulder turn. I know a lot of defensive line coaches talk about splitting the defense and getting that shoulder turn, getting that shoulder, and just really getting through there. And then some defensive coaches just have you attack one guy and then try to turn that shoulder to the other. So he technically could be doing both. He's probably attacking this guy. And then turning his back to this guy to slide through. I ain't, I'm not the best defensive line coach, but I know good defensive line play when I see it. He split it right there. And not only do he split it, make the tackle. And, and his run defense don't get enough credit. People don't give him enough credit for how well he plays the run. This is the Super Bowl again. And again, now, this is what I want to see for this play. He, nothing he really does, but watch the closing speed. Then just shows Joe, Joe Burrow. Now, at this point, most guys don't get away with this. A lot of guys don't get away with this. But when I see him do that and I see, see no Bengals really, you know, come to Aaron Donald's, I mean, come to Joe Burrow's defense, I think about this um, – I think this show my wife's watch. My wife, my wife watches called um, Real. 
Atlanta Housewives. And it's laid on there talking about who going to check me, boo. So who, who going to check Aaron Don? He got a little, little arm check right there. It didn't really don't amount to nothing, though. <laughs> it really don't amount to nothing. It is the baddest man in the NFL. Got a little arm check. It really amounts to nothing because, for the most part, a lot of people scared of that cat. And I don't blame him. Now, for those that are here from the Sip the Talent page, you saw this move a lot versus uh, being Cleveland. They jump, swipe, step through. And all you got to do is get that shoulder bind. Got the arm over. Got the shoulder bind. He on the quarterback already. That's his patented move right there. Because he has the power to get rid of the hands. And you can't really see it because 73 in a way. He has the power to get rid of the hands. Look, he took that arm, slapped that left arm down. And now all he has to do is get this shoulder on this shoulder. And then he's going to turn straight into the QB. And took him an extra step to do it. But now look at it. Now you're flat line to the QB. Matter of fact, and this is the play that pretty much sealed the Super Bowl. This is the play. After they got this, I think it, I don't know if it was fourth down or what, but the, uh, it was over with after this. It's pretty much over. The same move again. Same move. He's trying to knock the left arm down with his left arm, get that left shoulder by, and any residual, he's going to swipe it with the right hand. See, they swiped it with the right hand. Now, but I will say this. Look at the attention Aaron Donald's getting. His, his eyes over there too now. So you got one-on-one -on -one over here. Now, we, and this is off subject, but I will say Von Miller came about, I think about halfway through the season. Had Von Miller decided to stay in L.A., he probably would have had his best se best sack season ever. Man, you'll see why because of so much attention gets paid to Aaron Donald. Now, he got free on that. Because he got, you know, Von, Von Miller's no slouch. But because so much attention is paid to Aaron Donald, he gets one-on-one -on -one matchups. He gets one-on-one -on -one matchups. And that says, and that, that stat don't go in the book. So, you know, you see him, he, he ain't leading the league in stats. I mean, sacks, he not leading the league in TFLs. But that stuff right there don't go in the book because that's pretty much a sack for Aaron Donald, even though Von Miller got it. Because you have to pay that much attention to him. It's first 49ers. Now, this, this cat right here is cons arguably one of the best left tackles and strongest and baddest dudes in the NFL. Watch the force Aaron Donald gets rid of. I don't even care about the play. Just watch this force. Just took him and drove him. And if it had not been for these other cats, he would have slammed him down too. And Trent's probably one of the baddest MFs in the Football. Against the run. Look at that. Because oh, while I'm while I'm uh, recording, somebody sub to me. I appreciate it. Whoever that is, I can't see it. But now the tension. Look, one you get all these cats get one on one blocks. Cause look at you got you got to play fake and you got to worry about him. Everybody else getting one on one block. So a guy like Von Miller that's a darn good defensive guy in his own right. And Leonard. Leonard ain't bad either. But look at Von Miller. Got a one-on-one -on -one with this cat. And gets another sack. Because normally, normally, when you chip, when the running back chips, he normally chips on the edge. The running back normally chips the edge. Now the running back is chipping up in the interior line and see that from Von Miller. That's what I'm saying. If he stayed here, he probably would have had a career year. But he got a nice lip bag from Buffalo too, though. So we ain't gonna hate on it. Again, reiterate my point. Look at the attention paid right there. You gotta double him or you gotta triple him, do whatever you do. Now you got one on one, one on one, one on one. And I just mentioned Leonard. I think his name is Leonard. Look at that. 
And not to mention Von Miller. Look what Von Miller does to the tackle. Just drives him right in him lap, his lap. And you got, I think it's, Len, uh, that's not Leonard. I can't remember 54's name. Somebody put 54's name in the chat box. I mean, in the comment section. Or is it Leonard? Whatever it is, we're going to call him 54. But both of those guys, point being, both of those guys get a lot of one-on-ones because of Aaron Donald. Now you got to see him lined up wide. He just walked this cat in Tom Brady lap. He got he got a lot of um he basically got a run and start. Still maintained his leverage because he, he gonna pretty when he make contact with 65, his shoulders gonna go up. Then he just gonna walk him straight back to Tom Brady's lap. Here you go. Whoop. Stood him right up. Right in the QB lap. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to do, deal with this cat. Look at that. He's giving them fits. Giving them fits. Because now, he can't just take his eyes off of him, but he got his own man right there. So, and I don't know what they, I don't know why they got two people on this cat. You, you need your butt whoop. You should have been over here. So normally when you run a stunt, this guy normally don't don't get to the set. Normally. But it's almost like a pick and roll. Like he gonna pick him and then go there. Picked him and still got through there. I don't think I he this dude's damn near unblockable. Consistently. Now, again, look at the attention that's paid to him. It's three guys right here. So you got one on one here, one on one here. Look at the attention paid to him. That's that that does so much for your other guys. It gives them one on one matchups, and a lot of NFL guys can win one on one. You just got to get them. But he, this is a three on one because you know, I mean, Von Miller's kind of chilling. Now, look at this. Again, most of the time when backs or tight ends or whoever chip, they chip on the edge. Watch them with two eyes. They're not going to leave from Aaron Donald. Now, because the, the guard whiffs initially, what does he whiff with? He's just taking the throws and by. Now it's one-on-one. -on -one. This, this is a position this young man do not want to be in ever in life. Ever. He just throw him out the way like a chucky doll. Now, again, there's no sack on this play, but now you got Kyler Murray running for his life because of the pressure Aaron Donald got. And I don't I don't know how many pressures he, he got. I forgot to look up that stat. But just pressures is a, is a underrated stat. And I know he gets a lot, probably gets a lot of them, but I, I think back to people like ALT and Reggie White. I don't know if pressures was a stat then, but if it was, they probably by far be the top two guys. Because a lot of times quarterbacks will see those two guys coming and just throw the ball away. Aaron Donald's in that same category. Look at the just basically he not slapping them in the face, but he's slapping them hands away. It looked like he's slapping them in the face. He really trying to control them wrists and get them hands out of the way. And it happened so fast, so violent. He's right there in the quarterback face already. No wasted steps. No wasted movement. Everything's up the field. Even as he's hand fighting, everything's up the field. Got the jump through. That's how he gets his shoulder by, shoulder by the uh, guard with the jump through. Right there in the quarterback face. And this, this cat on the ground, he ain't no standstill quarterback. He can move. Ain't like this Tom Brady that ain't really going to move. That's Kyler Murray. No waste. Look at that. No wasted movement. He drives 72 up the field with leverage, with power, 
And then when he gets where he wants to, he just get rid of him and come flat to the QB. Get him straight up the field. He's just walking him back. Now, got a little alley and just come flat to the QB. Never rush. I never see him really rush past the QB. He gets the offensive lineman where he wants, then he disengages and goes straight to the QB. I never see him take a, a loop route, then have to redirect to the quarterback. I, ne I never see that. And he probably could do that if he want to because he's fast enough. There's still no wasted movement. And again, it's another pressure. Probably it's not a sack. It, you know, it's not going to go in the stat category. But because he got instant pressure, instant pressure, he he don't miss with that, with that, what's that, that his right hand. He don't miss with that right hand. At least not in this film, he don't. Boom. Got that got see? Knocked it off. That's that's the that's the tackle's hand right there. Knocked off already. And now all he gotta do is try to get that shoulder by him and get to the QB. Which he does. It's over with now. As far as the pass rush rep. I mean he completed the pass, but still, that's quarterback gonna be looking at that the rest of the game. Look, at Look what he does to two people. He just walks both of them back to the quarterback. And you see all this stuff Murray has to do just to even try to find a lane. He got he got that's his initial drop. And now because of the pressure, but keep in mind, it's two there, solo block, solo block, solo block. So they got they gotta win. Even though he's still winning too. And the thing is, because he draws so much attention, that's what we call having a guy that can make other people better. Because he draws this much attention, these guys have to win these one-on-one -on -one blocks. But the fact Murray had to do all that just to complete this little pass, I don't even know if it's completed. Yeah. That that pressure, he's doing that to two people. I'll give you one more play. We have the 15-minute mark. Again, I ain't really like this play. I ain't really like that. Even though I got an interception, get you one more after this one. <laughs> Again, making other people better. Making it easier for other people. Because remember, we talked about it earlier. Most times when people chip, they chip on the edge. Well, you can't really do that because you got to give him extra attention. So they doubling this cat. I don't know why. And sending the back to chip with Aaron Donald. So now you got one-on-one, one-on-one. -on -one. And if he wanted to come, he could come too. Look at Von Miller coming to that age. That's what I'm saying. If Von had stayed here, oh, my goodness. And that's because of the attention paid to Aaron Donald. And Aaron really ain't do much. It's, he just, I ain't going to say he took this play off, but he just kind of let Von do his thing. But again, I appreciate you guys for coming through. This is the, technically it's the third video, but the second film video. This is Aaron Donald. And I'm Coach Evans with More Sip to Tally. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. If you like the content, please hit the like button. Uh, if you want to subscribe and be here when I drop these random videos, do so. Uh, again, I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you soon. Peace.